Come closer. Come closer. Well, y'all welcome. This is this is a great day. This is a we, we're celebrating the signing of the litter bill, which is going to make a big difference in South Carolina. Our saying of, of smiling faces, beautiful places is true, but often it's marred by litter, whether it's uh, cigarette butts or parts or packages or cellophane or uh, white goods that are dumped uh, in, out in the woods or all kinds of litter, everything in, in between. It's, uh, it's gotten to be a real problem. And uh, we have some statistics from the uh, highway department that uh, one of the speakers will speak about. It's just astounding is the tonnage in uh, waste and trash is picked up on the highways. And that doesn't even include that. It's on the back roads and the driveways and in a lot of the rural areas where people seem to have gotten used to just dumping and throwing away trash uh, virtually at will. But um, Peggy and I got back recently from London. We went over for the state to the air show uh, and where we saw the new 787 Dreamliner take off uh, made by Boeing in North Charleston. It's a fabulous thing to see. But we noticed in London that they must not have a law like this, or they must not enforce it, because there's a lot of litter on the streets. And I remember years ago, I was in a place in Singapore, and they had a line, uh, a, a sign with clear uh, in several languages. The lines read that there was a, I can't remember what the fine was, but it was a big fine for littering. And I noticed that there was no litter anywhere. In, in that city. And I asked some people why, and they say, because it is, it is enforced vigorously. Well, one thing that we've been unable to do here has been a reluctance because the fine for just littering, throwing something out the window has been so high that law enforcement is reluctant, reluctant to write those tickets except in the certain cases. But now we've changed that to make it more reasonable and we think will have a much greater deterrent effect. So those that are here today that have played a, a big role in this, Sarah Lyles is here from Palmetto Pride and I'll, I'll call on him in a moment, her in a moment. James Nelson, who's environmental enforcement from Spartanburg County. Um, also the others behind me here as well and also representative jeff johnson who is the main sponsor of the bill and will also speak and answer questions sarah thank you thank you so much um, we are really excited to be here today um, i'm sarah with palmetto pride we were created by the legislature in 1999 um, we are the volunteer arm of the i guess litter business in south carolina uh, we work very closely with um, the South Carolina Litter Control Association, DNR, Probation, Pardon, Parole, DOT, Department of Corrections. So we are, we're an umbrella organization. Um, our mission is to eradicate litter um, in South Carolina. We have a four-pronged approach for that, education, enforcement, awareness, and pickup. Those are the, the key areas that you need. It's a holistic method to, um, to prevent litter. Um, and we are here to talk about the litter bill. Um, like Governor McMaster said, litter is uh, a problem all over. It is not specific to South Carolina. Um, we are very, um, we're encouraged by the participation and the passion from the General Assembly. Uh, this past year, state and local governments seem to uh, be really uh, embracing uh, the need for litter enforcement and awareness in their communities. And we're, um, we're, we're excited because we've been kind of fighting an uphill battle with the volunteers and the enforcement officers that have been doing what we can. Um, so this bill was very important um, to, uh, to, to give a sharper tool for our law enforcement officers. It uh, defined litter. Um, we had uh, some issues with illegal dumping that needed to be addressed specifically by this bill. And we also needed to clear up some language that would, uh, would free up community service, which has been a very big deal for a lot of areas. Um, resources are thin all over. We don't have the manpower to be out there picking up. Volunteers are key to that. As as well as getting some of these community service folks out there picking up. So um, Officer Nelson here will talk a little bit more about the, the, the bill itself. 
I just wanted to say thank you to Governor McMaster. I know he's been a, a litter fighter for many years. Environment, the environment is very important to him and to his family. And we'd like to thank Representative Johnson, who sponsored the bill, and Representative Hickson, uh, Representative Dillard, and Hyatt, and Senator Hutto, and Sin, and Young, and um, all the, the passionate legislators that were um, on our side this year. Um, we've got a lot of new champions, and we really look forward to making some, some big changes in the state. And um, Representative Magnuson's here somewhere. He's also, um, he's actually done some pickups himself. Um, I'm going to turn it over to Officer Jamie Nelson. He's Director of Environmental Enforcement uh, for Spartanburg County to talk a little bit more about the bill. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Governor. Yes, sir. Thank you, Representative. So first and foremost, you know, it's time. With this, with this bill, we finally here in South Carolina, we said, let's stop it. Let's stop littering. Let's actually get the law enforcement officers as myself and, and the men and women you see in the room now to enforce the law. So anything from zero to 15 pounds, we re reduced that down. That's basically a cigarette butt up to about a bag of trash. Thrown out the window, lost by an unsecured load. Um, however it ended up on only whether it's private or public property. So we reduced that fine down to $25 to a $200. So there's a range there for the officer to utilize when they're out there in the field. We also finally did what needed to happen here in, in the state of South Carolina. We called illegal dumping, illegal dumping. And, we, and that acts where someone takes their trash to your property, to a public property, to uh, a dumpster, and they put it where it's not supposed to be. So we're actually doing that now. We've uh, secured up enough to where we can actually do community service work now. Where the law mandates it has to happen, we've taken out the uh, supervision part. We have uh, counties such as Aiken, such as Dorchester, that have uh, 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 community service work, probation and pro work in place, and we're going to model theirs so we can put these people out on the roadway, clean it up, and come back and check them afterwards instead of standing there when that officer should be out enforcing the law. Uh, thank you guys for being here. This time I'm going to step aside and let Representative Johnson. Thank you. Yes, Thank you, Governor. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Um, like they said, my name is Representative Jeff Johnson from Horry County, and I'm the primary sponsor of this bill. I want to thank everybody for helping me with this bill, the legislature as a whole. Um, you know, Jamie Nelson and, and Ms. Sarah Lyles with Palmetto Pride. You know, this, this took a collective effort to get it pushed through the legislature, and, and it worked out greatly. I had a lot of constituents, a lot of people coming to me in Horry County saying, we've got a, a little problem. We also have a dumping problem of appliances, right of ways, down dirt roads, things like that. And I said, well, I'll look into it, and I did. And we found a solution to it, and we think this bill is really gonna go a long way. Act 214 is gonna help law enforcement clean up South Carolina. So thank you, and thank you, Governor, for having yes, me today. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. Are there any questions for anyone? Governor, do you think this is gonna help, especially with the, I know we've had a lot of tire dumps that have been a big problem yes, with fires and whatnot. Is this, this enforcement that, uh, is this bill going to help with enforcing that? I, you go for the I think it will, and because one, one thing it does, it makes it easier and more likely that the uh, small offenders, like someone who just flips something out the window as they're driving by or drops something on the sidewalk, will be ticketed. And it'll create a, an understanding that we are we're opposed to that in South Carolina. It's little things like trash in the street and piles of, of garbage or, or dumped along the roadway or on, even on private property, particularly when we have visitors and people vacation, and they see that, those things, and it does not reflect well on the place. And we want everyone to know how good, clean, and great South Carolina is, and a lot of times these things take away from that. So this is a, it's a very important piece of legislation, and I'm sure it's going to have uh, good, clean, dramatic results. More questions? Well, Y'all, thank you for coming, and now we'll sign the bill. And I've got a pen for you. Thank you, Sarah Lyles. Thank you, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.